when we consider ammonium nitrate to be an energetic material, but it's not an explosive um, as of, by itself. However, under certain conditions, it can be caused to detonate. OK, so what are those conditions that can cause it to detonate, particularly if we look at what happened in Beirut? What do you think might have occurred? Well, firstly, um, ammonium nitrate is a fairly stable sub substance as it is, but when it becomes contaminated, um, when it's not stored in dry and clean conditions, it becomes more volatile and more insensitive. Also, when it's subjected to heat, and critically, when it's subjected to heat and it's confined in large amounts, um, what happens, it starts to decompose, and it decomposes, uh, generating its own heat. So you get a, a rolling reaction, it gets hotter and hotter, decomposes more and more, and if it's confined, that can transition into a detonation, as we saw yesterday. And so, given the massive amounts of ammonium nitrate that were being stored there, now just tell me, is that an unusual amount of ammonium nitrate to be stored? And if it were, if it's not, uh, how has, has it to be, how does it need to be monitored to make sure that it remains safe? OK, it's not particularly an unusual amount. It's possibly an unusual location to store it, but it does tend to be stored in large quantities. But there are strict regulations governing the conditions in which it should be stored. It has to be kept dry, it has to be kept cool, and, and critically, it has to be kept in an area where it's not going to be subjected to any heat or flame. Yeah, and as you said, it's the location uh, particularly surprised you. So usually would, this, would, a, would a chemical like ammonium nitrate be kept away from obviously a capital city in the proximity that it was uh, of inhabitations and where people lived and worked? Absolutely. I mean, sadly, uh, explosions, explosions involving ammonium nitrate are not uncommon. There have been over the years a large number of them with large loss of life. So we know this and therefore it's generally stored in large quantities somewhere where, it, if the worst does happen, it's not going to cause these sort of catastrophic effects. OK, so put this into context for us, because you're talking about the fact that other explosions have happened with ammonium nitrate. Uh, in what conditions have they occurred, and have they been in any way on the same scale as what we've seen in Beirut? Um, they have been on the same scale. I mean, in 2015, there was the explosion in the port in uh, Tianjin in China, um, which caused over 100 deaths, and certainly ammonium nitrate, along with other chemicals, was implicated in that. But the common um, thread running through this whole thing is poor storage. Um, if somebody kept there for a long time, it's not properly monitored, it's not kept under proper conditions, then eventually there's a, there's a really strong risk that this sort of event's going to happen.